Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Citrini Cardfrog and today I'll be your host. Today we have the Brilliant Stars Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Box. Last time we opened a regular trainer box of Brilliant Stars. This time we're gonna do it special. We're gonna do it exclusive. Basically, the exclusive version has only a few extra things, but those few extra things didn't cost more <laughs> than uh, what you would pay for the regular uh, Elite Turner box at GameStop or Walmart, for example. Well, maybe a little more than at GameStop, but it's the same price as the Walmart one, from what I've noticed, at least in my area. Uh, you know, sometimes it differs from region to region. But the thing is, this is Pokemon Center Online exclusive, uh, so it means that you have to have it delivered to you, and it also means that, well, you have to pay for shipping. It's not that bad, it's like $10 for any amount of stuff you send, uh, you ask for shipping, so it's, it's not really bad, but anyways, it kind of sometimes gets damaged in the mail. And uh, it's only exterior damage, like the inside. Oh, well, there's some damage on the inside as well. Uh, if this would focus, there we go. There's some damage. So that's why this is the one I decided to open today. Uh, I ordered three. I got three. And so I don't really need to keep all three sealed. I keep one sealed for my collection. And the other two, uh, well, one I'm opening today. And the other one, I'm not sure when I'm going to open or if I'm gonna sell it eventually. But my goal was to at least have one for my collection and one to open for you guys. And uh, that's it, that's what I did. Here's the little pamphlet thing, the little book of information. This, well, I mean, it's the same as the other box. And this box, it's the same as the other box. It's not like the special, um, uh, which set was it again? I think it was the uh, Celebrations. Yeah, it's uh, the celebration set that had a special box with two rows. It was bigger than usual. But I'm not going to spoil any of the surprise stuff inside this box until we find it. Uh, and so this, it's the same as usual. It's just a rule book. Nothing special there. But we have something exclusive to this box. We have a deck box and it's a decent quality one. It's not, you know, cardboard. It's plastic. That's nice. So we have a little Arceus deck box. Pretty cute. Pretty cool. Uh, that's, I hope that's on the plastic. Yeah, okay. The little black mark is on the plastic. Good. I'm going to keep this sealed because it's nice to have in a collection of sealed products. But, you know, if you guys want to use it, it seems to be just the right size for a 60 card deck. Uh, I don't know if in Pokemon you have some, um, whatchamacallit, some side deck or anything. But I assume you're allowed to switch out some stuff. In competitive play so I wouldn't suggest this box for competitive play but you know local tournaments and stuff like that it's cute I like it this filler thing is pretty much the same pretty much yep I'll put that aside then we have our brick of energy which is also the same we have packs but instead of the eight usual packs, you have ten from what I remember. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And they're all in perfect order of, well, you know, characters. So I'm going to open them shuffles. <laughs> Let's just, you know, create chaos. Maybe that will, you know, make us lucky. As the princess would say, Schrodinger's pack. It's not decided until you open it. And uh, it really depends on, you know, who opens it and uh, when you open it. I don't, I don't really believe that, <laughs> but it is cute and I like it. And uh, she's very lucky with her packs, so who's to say maybe it is true. Maybe that's how it works. We have the usual V-Star little, uh, little um, marker thing. We have these little tokens, which are the usual ones. We have separators. The usual one, I think. Yeah, I think that's the same as the other one. I don't quite remember, but I believe it's the same as the other one. We have a beautiful coin, which is exclusive to the Pokemon Center online box. I remember, I think. 
I'm not sure. I'll try to remember, but yeah, I believe it's uh, it's an exclusive one to this box. I'll try to make it hold up in the back there. That's nice. And we have two... Wait, no, we have these little uh, dice and counters. I, think, I don't think those are exclusive or exclusive uh, design either. Because I do remember... I remember having those in the other box. They look pretty much the same to me. But we have an exclusive style of sleeve. I think the other one was reversed. It's gold inside and white out. This is gold out and silver inside. I, I'm trying to remember. It's, you know, I filmed the other one um, mid-February on release day. And this video, I'm actually filming uh, <laughs> almost mid-March. Almost. Well, it's not. It's quarter March. So it's been like two or three weeks since the other video. It's been a while, guys and gals. It's been a while. Anyways, so that's the loot. Let's get to the packs. And before we get to the packs, I just want to mention, these are the sleeves I use. Ultra Pro card sleeves, the loose ones, okay? It's, uh, you know, it's standard size. These will protect your cards without uh, being too difficult to insert or remove them, which means that the, the sleeves are a little more flimsy. They're not, you know, going to resist much, uh, you know, action. But... These are good for when you send cards to grade, but don't just send them in this, you need more protection as well, like top loaders and stuff like that, but anyways, I just wanted to, you know, show you guys the sleeves I use, uh, usually, because I see a lot of uh, new people in uh, forums and uh, on Facebook groups and stuff like that, um, that keep asking what's the best way to protect your cards, what's the best way to, uh, you know, send them for grading what's grading actually and and stuff like that so i just felt like it oh okay that's that's upside down i think but you know it's a white code card so that's not good the, the white border i believe that's not good but character cards are in uh, replacing uh, reverse cards in this set so that doesn't affect the border Anyways, that's the code card for y'all. Sorry about that. I'm gonna start trying to hide them. I had a comment lately that said that some people go real fast into the videos and just take all the codes, so they don't really give the chance to other people in the few first minutes. So, you know, I, I thought that, yeah, I'd try to help out a bit. But uh, yeah, anyways, getting back on the subject of sleeves, uh, I feel like, you know, it's good to help people out when they're beginning in the game or beginning in collecting instead of playing and oh wow it's a double truby but one is reverse foil so that's our first revo reverse foil we have cherries and manafi hey that's a legendary right or is it a mythic and you I, I they kind of changed all those naming things anyways first pack bust so yeah i just feel like it's uh it's good to help out Wait, what? That's... Okay. Okay, that's a dark border. So we're gonna get a hit. There we go. Boom. Code card. One, two, three, four. Okay, I, I have to remember the reversed. So I have to, you know, hide stuff. Anyways. Electric. Magma. Hitmonta. Luxio. Electabuzz. Bidoof. Clefairy. Grimer. Execute. Reverse Sneasel. And we have a hit of Zarud V. That's a first hit. It's not a big hit, but it's it's a hit. Zarud V. This card, this attack also does 30 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Oh, neat. And Jungle Rage. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon V, this attack does 120 more damage. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. 240 for three energies. That's not bad at all, actually. I'm not going to sleeve it because it's just a V, but it is a decent sounding card. And, uh, my girlfriend does play a grass deck, so I could probably let her use that. Although the deck wouldn't be much, uh, <laughs> casual anymore if she uses too many good cards. Anyways, so, uh, code, yeah, okay. I'll try to keep hiding this thing there. Boom. And I'm trying not to spoil the value of our pulls by r showing if we have a hit or not. So, yeah. Let's keep working on this, because it's a little different than what I'm used to. We have Grass Energy, Cynthia, 
Starmie, Dust Club, Cast Form, Trapinch, Gibble, I love this artwork, Weasel, Paul Lucha, Execute, Reverse, and on the end, Dusk Noir. We have a foil. Nice. Two hits in a row. And this is a beautiful artwork. Wow. I like when artworks look either funky or sinister. And this is sinister. Gibble is funky. Funky or fun? Anyways, that's cool. It's drawn by Otumami. Otumami. Yeah. Nice. Good job. Great artwork, Otumami. There we go. Next pack. Or three packs in. Uh, three packs in, and we have already gotten two hits. That's not so bad. But I just saw the border of the next code card, so that's not so good. Uh, yeah, there we go. I I don't like this kind of flipping thing. Anyways, here's the code for y'all at home. Yeah, we saw it. Okay. Let's just, you know, deal with the fact that we're going to see the code card border now. Yeah. Water Energy. Vibrava. Funke. Choice Belt. Floatzel. Sock. Burmy. Staryu. Magmar. Funke. Throw. Hey, in the same pack as Sock. That's cool. Professor's Research Reverse. That's nice. I do collect the character reverse cards, you know, like Supporter. So I like that. And Tornadus. It's just a regular rare. It's okay. It's okay. We're getting somewhere. We're only four packs in. This is the fifth. You don't know if we're gonna get good stuff or not. No, okay. I saw a black border, so we're gonna get a pull. Doesn't mean we're gonna get a great one, but we're gonna get a pull. Oh, where's the little... Okay, there we go. There we go. Enjoy a code card. Free of charge. One, two, three, four to the front. Kabam. Psychic. Acerola's premonition. Siglif and Put. <laughs> Cherubi. Clefairy. Carablast. Staryu. Burmy. Ooh, nice. We've got a character card. Nice. Houndoom with whoever that is. And I, I, I remember this character from. Uh, Pokemon Masters, the app on the game, you know, the, the game app on the phone. So I, I remember this guy, but I don't remember his name. I didn't play the video game in which he was a leader. But this is nice. I collect character cards, so that's cool. It's at least worth five bucks or something. Canadian money, at least. And Torterra foil. And this is a beautiful foil. Look at that. Very nice details. There are a lot of Torteras in the back. It's like a march of Torteras. Beautiful stuff. It's done by Oswaldo Cato. Nice. Good job. I like that. And the character one as well is a very beautiful artwork. But, uh, yeah. I think that's just a company, not an actual singular artist. When it says NC Empire, or when it says Five Man Graphics, like the Zerud V. So I don't really give much credit to these because it's a huge company already. It's not the, like independent um, artists that just wanted to work for Pokemon, I, I guess. Anyways, but when I see a very beautiful one, I, I do tell... Uh... Oh, crap. Okay, there we go. And I have a hard time. If the code cards were placed differently, I could at least, you know, try to hide the codes a little easier but anyways i give credit when credit is due but i prioritize 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 anyways i prioritize i put ahead the independent artists oh that's nice ball toy we have a reverse cleansing gloves and a ice cube cute little penguin who broke the ice around its head to fight so we have four packs left. Whew. If this were a regular box, we would only have two packs left. So yeah, let's go Elite Trainer Box. Okay, that's not gonna be a hit. We've got a code for y'all at home, but it might have a character. One, two, three, four. Let's go. Energy, Tropius, Ultra Ball, Crawdaunt, Snorunt, Nose pets, 
Axu, Ball Toy, Chimchar, Reverse Milsery, and Luxray. Nothing great on this one. Oh well, we can't win them all, but we've got three pulls and one character which is kind of a pull although it takes the place of the reverse. So you know, four pulls out of six, uh, well yeah, out of uh, six, no seven packs, this is the eight. It's not bad, it's one out of two on average. And ooh, we've got a code. There we go. I think I'm getting a hang of it. Anyways, we've got a back border, so we're gonna get a hit. Hopefully more than just a foil. I would like to have something higher than a V, at least one higher than a V in this box. At least fire, probal bass. Friends in Galar! Draw three cards. It's cute. Morgram, Snorunt, Nose Pass. Ooh, I think we're gonna get something cool because there's some silver on the border. Ball Toy, Minchino, Chimchar, Reverse Muck, and V Star. Hey, that's my first V Star pull, I believe, in English. That's nice. Whimsicott V Star. I think it's like the least valuable V Star, but it is nice. It's got texture to it. Very cool. Very, very cool. Trick Wind. During your opponent's next turn, they can't play any Pokemon tool or special energy cards from their hand. It's not great, but it's not bad. I mean, 160 damage also is good. And Fluffball Star. This attack does 60 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for each energy attached to this Pokemon. So if you have less than 3, you can at least use this with 2 energies, for example, and deal 120 to 1 Pokemon of your choice. It doesn't have to be a um, active Pokemon can be a benched one, so that's like a free prize card until you get your three tri Trick Wind energies. I'm gonna sleeve this one even though it's not a very expensive one, because at least it's a V-Star, and it's probably the rarest pull we've pulled today. We still have two more packs though, who's to say, maybe we'll get more good pulls. Come on, pulls! Aw, uh, white border. I have to I keep having a hard time after all. Code. Code, code, code. One, two, three, four. Come on. Give us a character at least. Give us a character card. I would love getting more characters. Water Energy. Executor. Claydol. Morgram. Chimcha. Chim Chimco. Gullet. Corfish. Sock. Reverse Starmie. So no characters. And Mewtwo. I love this artwork. Pulled this one as a reverse in the past, and it is a beautiful card. Man, I love this artwork. Artist is Anasaki Dynamic. Is that like an artist name or an actual group? I don't know anymore. Anyways, no matter what, this is a beautiful artwork. I love it. It's sinister and funky. It's beautiful. It's got such great coloring on it and everything. I love it. Final pack is a Charizard pack. Are we gonna get a Charizard card? You know, that that would be nice. It would be nice. It would be nice. Ah, uh, white border. Uh. There we go. Code card. We can at least get a character card, right? Come on. Come on. How do the cards guide us? Guide us. Electric, Cleansing, Chinchino, Team Yells Cheer, Execute, so yeah, it's just Execute, Funky, Farfetch'd, Duskull, Sinista, Cub Chew, Dedenne, Ball Toy Reverse, and Grim Snarl. Okay, well, I mean, definitely did not get our money's worth in this box, but look at all the the bulk we pulled, that's, that's kind of cool, I guess. Oh, forgot to put one energy aside, I really just put energies aside because I don't want them in the same box as my Pokemon and trainers and stuff. So we've got a lot of bulk, but we've got some cool looking uh, reverses, like Professor's Research is good for collecting, Sneasel with a cheeky look, it's kind of cool. And we've got our pulls, two great artwork, regular foils, one V, one V star, and one character. So it's like five pulls technically out of 10 packs, that's one out of two, that's pretty good odds. Even if you take out the Ongdoom, uh, four pulls out of 10 packs is pretty good, because I believe it's usually one out of three. So it's good odds, it's just, you know, not good value for the pulls. 
Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I know I did. Uh, it was fun, and we got a lot of exclusive stuff from Pokemon Center, so that's always great for collecting. And until next time, guys and gals, it has been a pleasure, and ciao. I've got a few thanks to give. First, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, sub, bell, comment, share, etc. It really helps. Second, I want to give a big thanks to my friend BuddhaBelly42 for making the animation for the channel's intro. It is much appreciated. Go check him out on his social media accounts. Third, but not the least, I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who supports me, my channel, and its mission, especially the ones on Patreon. You peeps out there are the ones making this work. On that note, follow me on my other social media accounts. Lots of bonus content to entertain you guys and gals, so check it out!